Nam, as it's known. Plus, this is a test of the audio uh, slider the Evil Bobber. Okay, I'm going to be honest. New game. Two or two, just two. Thank God, sort of out. Mm -hmm. God? Yes. Uh, yeah, this game is super freaking difficult. So, on. Okay. Uh, more or less what I'm going to show you the game. And not like, you know. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the game. So, this is not. Uh, welcome to the rice paddy fields that I have to sneak through. And, well, kill the North, uh, uh, Vietnamese. Yeah, uh, this is built on the engine that Duke Nukem ran on. It's not horrible, but it's not good either, if that makes any sense. Just, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what it boils down to. It's not horrible, but it's not good good. But seeing that I picked it up through um, the Bundle Stars promotion, I don't. I'm not mad. That's for damn sure. It's a video game. It works, and it's kind of a unique setting compared to nowadays. Where's that map? There it is. Yeah, I was right. There's a spider hole back here. What the hell? Oh, yeah, this is the one that confused me. Whoa, that was kind of weird. Did you catch the fire glitch? It literally stopped whenever I wasn't nearby. Wow, huh. interesting. Nom! The game where... Oh, shit! Yeah, that was kind of messed up the first time I read they had suicide bomber. I don't know. I've always kind of been... I'm one of those... I don't know. Suicide bombers just... They bother me in games. Because... Even though I know... I know it happens in the real world. The, the level of fanaticism required to do such a thing? I don't know, I could, I, I just, I could never strap a bomb to myself and be all like, you know, for whatever reason, I'm going to, you know, strap a bomb to myself and go blow myself up with a lung, I just, no, uh-uh. Of course, I guess that kind of makes me less likely to be crazy or something, right? I suppose. Do 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 do. So yeah, no, there's a weird mix between Doom and Duke 3D. Uh, not horrible. I do like the music. That is something that I've actually kind of latched on to with a lot of these older games that I've been playing lately. Is the music? I I like. The music in Nam. I like the music in uh, Eradicator. Um, the Star Wars games always had phenomenal music. Always, always, always. So there's no complaints there. But for me, game music is one of those things that if it sucks, it, it becomes background noise. I don't pay attention to it. But if it's good, I'll pay attention to it, you know, 
If I can, I'll go and snag the uh, soundtrack if it's good enough. But it's got to be the right level of good. Especially if I'm going to be dropping money on it. Now, if they offer the soundtrack for free, say with a good old games release, yeah, I'm going to download it and I'm going to listen to it at least once. Just to see, you know, my opinion on it. What do I think? Wait, is this K bar a butter knife? It sure looks like it. My knife is a butter knife. I'm that much of a badass. Now that my wife is looking at me sideways like I'm an idiot, yay me. Okay, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Well, apparently I should have collected all this crap. I do have a couple of... What the... Oh, mines. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Just never mind. Those shotguns are really over there. Not really. There's actually a sniper rifle on that so that scope. That impressed the hell out of me. Don't have it right now because it was one of the later missions in Act 1 that you got it in. But. Oh, wait, wait. This ass hat up here might have it. No? Hold on, can I get over there? No. He had an M16, didn't he? I'll make it bet he had an M16 and not. Oh, yeah. Yep. No ladders. Fuck ladders. We don't need ladders. We'll just shove you up there and keep you up there until you die. And then we'll shove someone else up there and then we'll push your corpse down. So you can, like, you know, not have to worry about someone climbing up there and shooting you in the back of the head. I'm like, yeah. Well, fuck. Now I'm lost. Well, that is my second issue with this game. It, the, once you actually beat the level, the level design makes sense, kinda. But until you figure out the layout of the level, it can come off as very stupid, but I think in an odd way, it was this is way of getting you to understand oh yeah, getting you to understand that the jungles of Vietnam and the cities in Vietnam were very confusing as fuck all. At least that's the only way I can explain it, I suppose. Damn it, number six. Number six. Grenade? That's a long ass delayed grenade there, bud. Oh! 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 Hmm. So they did actually model the um, the shit out of the uh, the mines from the minefield. Now let's go see if that did open up a secret. Oh, well, okay, in a way it did. And that's why I needed. Neat. So what the hell is this thing? Okay. So there's an NBA with no? Yeah, weapon seven is the one that 
It's the blooper ring, though. It's the blooper ring sniper rifle. So I don't have it yet. And I really don't feel like digging up the uh, cheat code. Oh, there's the M79 blooper. Let's hear how it sounds. Hey, that's pretty accurate to how the blooper sounds in a, you know, 15 year old game. Yeah, Nam's one of the more uh, basic shooters of the era. But at the same time, it was before we had an oversaturation of the Call of Duties and the battlefields <clears throat> and their take on World War II. Hell, it wasn't until Call of Duty that we actually had a decent um, World War II shooter. So, I'm always kind of be grateful to Infinity Ward for the fact that Big Red 1 and uh, Call of Duty on the PC were always, you know, the first really good ones. Um, historically accurate, too. But, I don't know. Nazis have always kind of been around in video games. Um, Wolfenstein 3D. Wolfenstein, actually. I guess the biggest thing is, is we're always going to have tropes in video games, especially first-person shooters. Always, always, always going to be there. You know, I could sit here and bitch about it till the cows come home. I'm not going to. It's the nature of the business. I mean, why do you think so many games now that... Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't really piss off. I mean, that's why we have games now that we end up, you know, it's a familiar trope, it's a familiar series, because that's what, well, as fucked up as it may sound, us gamers buy it, especially right now. Instead of honestly and truly seeking out, well, I want something unique. No, we don't. We want something familiar, but different enough to where we can say that's good or bad. That's exactly our problem. We, we, we don't. How do I, so how do I, how do I play at the, you really should have given me a spoon to use. That would have been cool. Instead of the butter knife, give me a give me a spoon that I sharpened. I think Manhunt or er, yeah, Manhunt Two did that. I think one of the, the the items you had was a spoon. I actually nailed a headshot on him. And it killed him in one shot. Sweet. That makes me happy. That makes me happy too. You know. I've never been one for too crazy over the top shit in games. Unless I'm in the mood for it. Oh, we got an M16. I need... Oh. Well, oh, that was fucking pointless. That was quick. Wait, explain that to me, folks. Hi, you getting sleepy? Mm. Mm.
There's a bunch of NVA in your way. Good luck. Did I just get the mission briefing? Yes, that was the mission briefing. Oh well. Could be much, much worse. See, there could be a goddamn sniper up there and I don't have anything that I can effectively shoot it with. What? Oh shit. I forgot. Back in the old days, there ain't no shooting through fucking bushes. Oh shit, my medic buddy died. That's kind of neat. Didn't realize that I had people that could follow me in the game. That makes me happy. Yeah, I've been saying that a lot lately with the games that I've been playing. Just the smallest, goofiest shit. That makes me happy. <laughs>